Hello and a warm welcome to Selhurst Park on what is a very pleasant night for football I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Crystal Palace taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. This is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Bernd Leno is the goalkeeper. Giovanni Reyna starts with Wilfred Zaha out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. Good. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Thank you, Sellers Park. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. Not a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. Could be troublesome. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Putting his body on the line. Oh, a lovely ball. And very adept at holding the ball up in this manner. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Well, whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfried Zaha, quite simply, you've got to be on your toes. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass. He can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Must take the lead here. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Nkunku. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. It's a good Palace move in the making. Not showing good defensive judgment. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Vital intervention. Giovanni Reina. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Nkunku. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Zaha. Grafenberg. Yusufa Mukoko. Really vital interception. Now, options are plenty. Real chance. In it goes. The opening goal in this 
contest. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Noni Madueke. Thwarting him. Hernandez. Grafenberg. And the keeper did more than enough. They favoured a short one here. This looks promising. And blocked for now. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. An important interception. Nkunku. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. A decisive clearance it was. Nkunku. And the danger is averted. Well, as you can see, Palace are struggling to control possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. A glorious chance. Oh, he's blocked it. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they take advantage of the situation? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. So, getting close to the half-time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. He has teammates around him. But they took care of the situation defensively. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. He might be able to carve something out. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. And we will have just one additional minute. And the referee blows the whistle, bringing to an end the first half here at Selhurst Park. Well, one thing they've done so very well is keep Christopher and Kunku quiet. And that's no easy task, is it, Stuart? Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to improve if they're to get back into this one. And the match is underway. Well, away they go again, and there can be no denying it. A huge gulf between the teams in the first half. 
Will we see a response from Chelsea in the second 45? He's beaten his man. And it still could be dangerous. Very quick thinking there. And that'll be a Palace throw-in. Here it is now, a substitution. Sasha Bowie. Ducouré. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Must be! A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this! Three to the good now! Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And the ball is rolling again, with Palace really starting to race away with this one. Ryan Grafenberg. Well, high marks for that pass. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Giovanni Reina breaking at pace. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Nkunku. On the ball, Salamakers. And now, passing it through. And nearly the ideal ball, but a good piece of defending. Hudson Edouard. And Zaha has it. Accurate ball and towards the near post. But keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery. Nkunku. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. They need to get bodies back. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Odson Edouard. Grafenberg Theo Hernandez now Salamakers Yusufa Mukoko and unable to keep possession Nkunku well no problems defensively Ducouré. Nkunku. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. He continues his run. Nkunku. The defender doing his job. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Reina. Zaha. Really vital interception. Ryan Grafenberg. 15 minutes left for play. 
Reina. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. And the right place to cut out the pass. Giovanni Reina. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Yusufa Mukoko. Teo Hernandez. Ten minutes to go then. Kukureya. Yusufa Mukoko. An unforced error, you've got to say. Good looking sequence. Out of play then, and a Palace throw in forthcoming. Well, the referee let it go initially, but now he goes back and cautions him, Stuart. Yeah, it's a good bit of refereeing. He tried to let the play continue, and then he came back for the booking. Ongisa. Zaha. And a very good challenge. Alexis Salamakers. Well, the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Can he find the right pass? Well, it came to nothing in the end. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Andre Frank Zombo Ongisa. Rodrigo. Beautifully weighted ball. And there goes the final whistle. Plenty of reasons for Palace fans to be cheerful on the back of this victory. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer, and Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today, and, of course, he scored two really good goals. Chance. 